brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Nelson's Bill 33 would replace the mayors with GVB as the organizer of the Liberation Day festivities. Mayor's Council President Melissa Savaris was caught off guard by the measure and says they were never consulted. But Nelson says she's giving them what they asked for. I understand that when I repealed the law that allowed casino gambling during the Liberation Day festivities, uh, the mayors made it very clear that if they didn't have the casino, then uh, they didn't want the responsibility because of the cost. Savaris told KUAM News the mayors opposed the move and she was critical of Nelson for not consulting with them on the bill. The senator says she believes GVB may be a better fit. This was um, a proactive way to ensure that, um, that there is revenue that is accounted for and to also ensure that, um, you know, that I, I, I feel that GVB has a strong example of, of uh, leading the community in festivities. But the disagreement clearly centers around gaming. The mayors argue that it provides the bulk of the revenue for what would be an otherwise losing venture. Pushing the gambling agenda, we are ignoring the people's voice. And the people voted many times, five times as a matter of fact, that they did not want casino gambling on Guam, even if it's for a short-term period. Um, are we willing to risk the social harms that gambling does for uh, a Liberation Day festivity? And I think the answer is absolutely not. Guam will celebrate the landmark 75th anniversary of Liberation in July. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.